Okay, in this video, we are going to learn how to read and write to and from data sets. Um, so to start off, look at our includes here. I've got QDebug, QCore Application, uh, GDAL.h, and GDALPRIV.h. Um, I've just put in these debug messages start and finish so we know when our application is done and when it starts. And I have two paths. I have an input path to a raster and then an output raster that I'm going to create. Um, so catch up if you're not there already. And we are going to start off by defining some variables. So we're going to need two GDAL data sets. So we're going to have an old data set. Needs to be a pointer. And a new data set. We need a driver. I'm going to use the GeoTIFF format. And then we're going to open the data set. as read only. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to take this data set and we're going to need some more variables here. Oops. Okay, so, and rows, it's not a pointer, get raster bend one, get y size, get x size, Get the geo transform. Okay. Now we need to set up our driver. Get the driver manager. Get driver by name. GTIF. Okay. Now we're going to use this driver to create a new data set. We don't need to have a pointer here. Forget my syntax. Excuse that. <laughs> so P the new data set is going to equal the driver. We're going to create. It's going to be output columns, rows, one band. We want the data type float and we're not going to use any options for now. Okay. So we've got that data set created. We have our old data set loaded. Our new data set created. I keep doing this. I keep putting the asterisk in there and I don't need that. Um, and now what we need to do is to read and write. We want to take what's in old and write it to new. We could just use create copy, but we're going to do a little function in here or something to, to change things up a little bit. Um, oh, we also want to have our no data value here. So we'll come in and we'll add this. Your raster band. Okay. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a loop. And 
And we're going to have a double loop so we can loop through all the rows and columns. Okay. Now, the way I like to do this is to read an entire row from the raster into memory and then loop through each column. And so we want to read from our old data set. We want to do it from the first band. Raster IO, raster input output. So we want to read. And this is going to be the row or the column and the row we read from. So we want to read from column zero. We want to start there. We want to read all of row I. And these next two are going to be um, the number of rows or the number of columns and rows in that order goes X and Y every time here that we want to read into memory. And so we want to read in all of the columns one row. And this void parameter, this is going to be um, the, the place we store it in memory. So I haven't created this variable yet, but we'll call it old row. Um, and just remember that, and we'll come back there. And this is going to be, again, um, the number of columns, the number of rows. The data type is going to be float32, and this is going to be some um, rescaling transformation things that we're not going to worry about. I've never used those before. Um, so we need to make this old row variable now. So I'm going to come up here and do that, and it's going to be a float pointer. And then here we use CPL malloc, and this is the way GDAL um, allocates memory. So we're going to we're going to allocate memory for a float that's the size of the number of columns. And while we're here, I'm going to make a new row that we can write to the raster, to the new raster. And it's just going to be the same thing, just a different name. Okay. So we've read in our row into this variable old row. Now what we want to do is for every value that has data in it, we're going to read it in and add 10 to it and then write that to our new data set. So if um, we want to check if old row equals no data, then new row, what oh, we got to get with the index, equals no data. Um, keep that the same. Otherwise, else, um, new row equals old row plus 10. And then we need to come down here and we need to make sure we write this row in. So new, get raster band 1, raster IO, GDAL flag of read, 0, give it the row index, number of columns, 1. We want to write new row, number of columns, one row, data type of float, and our offset parameters are zeros. Okay, let's give this a build. I hope we need to close the data sets first. Oops. Close. Old data set. new data set. 
and then we need to call GDAL Destroy Driver Manager. Okay, let's build and see if we can compile here. Alright, looks like we're good to go. Now let's try to run this. Oh, we got an error. Let's see if we can figure out um, what's going on here. Okay, so the error is we forgot this line, GDAL all register. This registers all the driver formats at the beginning. So once we do that, build, run, we run without any errors. Now, um, hold on just a minute while I open up ArcMap so we can view these results.